Disclaimer. These videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the First Battle of Fort McAllister, located in Bryan County, Georgia, on January 27th to March 3rd, 1863. The Union Navy had been developing a new type of naval ship, a Monitor. They knew that there would be an upcoming battle against Charleston Harbor, and Naval Commander Rear Admiral Samuel F. DuPont wanted to know how effective the new Monitors were. So he ordered a raid on Confederate Fort McAllister, located on the south bank of the Great Okiji River, south of Savannah, Georgia. This was chosen because it was a lightly defended fort compared to Charleston Harbor. This would let the Union know how effective the guns and the mechanical appliances were in attacking earthwork shore batteries. The testing happened in three different phases. On January 27th, the Monitor Montauk and its accompanying gunboats attacked the fort. They repeatedly striked the earthwork batteries, and in return, the Montauk took several direct hits during the four hours of fighting, but received no damage at all. The second raid was planned and conducted on February 1st. The Montauk was able to destroy a Confederate ship, the Rattlesnake, that had previously ran aground during rainy weather, and after 14 shots had killed Confederate Major General John B. Galley and wounded seven other Confederate soldiers. However, on its return back to base, the Montauk ran into a mine and was forced to go to Port Royal for a lengthy repair. The third engagement happened on March 3rd, as Union Admiral DuPont ordered the ironclad monitors to Patopsko, Pasayak, and Nahant, along with their gunboats, to conduct more target practice. They bombarded the fort for seven hours but did no major damage. They then pulled back and went over the results. They found that the ironclads had big guns, they could damage the earthworks, but it wouldn't be enough to destroy the earthen fort, especially since the enemy could easily move earth back into place. The only death during this engagement was of Fort McAllister's garrison mascot, Tomcat. It is said that the death of the cat was deeply regretted by the men, and the news of the fatality was communicated with General P.G.T. Beauregard in the official Confederate after-action report. Total casualties were minimal, the Union suffered no losses, while the Confederates only suffered the death of Major John B. Galley, the death of Tomcat, the garrison mascot, and seven other Confederates wounded. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.